Hey Android developers, uh, this is Rob Jackson from Fandroid.com with a quick tutorial on how to transfer ownership of your Android app or game. So some developers want to drive revenue by engaging consumers with sales, in-app purchases, or advertisements, uh, but what if a company wanted to acquire your app game? They wanted to pay you some big bu bucks. Google makes it quick and easy to transfer ownership rights of applications, but there are some important things you'll need to know and a process you'll need to go through. So let's dive in. Um, for this example, we're going to transfer ownership of the Fandroid app from the Fandroid.com account to the Neverstill Media account. Now, Neverstill Media is our uh, parent company, and we decided it was best to have one hub so we can highlight all our portfolio of properties and apps. Um, so for the old account, I'm going to be uh, logging in. So this is the one I want to move. Um, now, it's kind of hidden where you've got to go. I'm going to go up to help and then contacting support. Then you want to click through to Google Play Developers, Publishers, and Merchants. Scroll down and you can see this publishing and distribution issues. So we'll actually provide you with a direct link to that in the article. Um, but you're just going to want to fill out this form. And this is pretty much what it equates to. So first name Rob, last name Jackson, that's my email address, developer name. So obviously my app name is Fandroid, my developer account is Fandroid.com. So developer name Fandroid.com. In the United States the application name is Fandroid. The application package name and any developer is going to know all this good stuff but maybe you own the app and you're not the physical developer but here you go this ID equals is the package name so we'll put that pasted in there issue type is transfer applications to another account and give them a full description so I'll just say I'm the owner of fandroid.com and the fandroid app on Google Play We'd like to consolidate our apps under our parent company account, which is Never Still Media. And the account there is Rob at Neverstill.com. So there are no device details and build number so really simple and straightforward you essentially just need both parties to agree to this so thank you further action is required for, for this inquiry please check your developer email for further instructions I've got this email um, right away from Google Play developer sort developer support zero minutes ago thank you for contacting us regarding the transfer to ensure that no unauthorized person gains access Do -do 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 provide the following information current email account desired email account apps to be transferred to the new account also indicate if it is a free or paid application please note that we cannot transfer applications until the new account has been created and the registration fee has been purchased so um, basically you need to have the other account set up already to expedite validation please also reply to this message from the new account copy the exact subject header of this message into the new email message in the body of the email message enter I am authorized to receive the transferred applications yada 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 reply to this email um, and just I'll copy this exact thing shortly thank you Rob Jackson. So what I'm going to need to do is copy the exact same header information. So let me do send this. We're going to copy this subject. I just need to create a new email, compose a new email, put the same subject in there. Let's send it to the same exact folks. and then I'll be sending them exactly what they asked for which is 
I'm authorized to receive the transferred application. And then I'll do personal name, Rob Jackson. And you're good to go. Then you sit and wait. So while we're waiting, let's talk about a few of the different scenarios. And wow, ladies and gentlemen, look how quick that was. So I submitted this transfer at 6 p.m. And within two hours, um, the app has been transferred. Thank you for your note. The app has been transferred as requested. So you can see, oh, now there's only one app in there, Vote 2008. Looks like they, uh, looks like I may have to request the other one manually. Let's log in really quick to my new account. And there you go. There's the new fan, or the old Fandroid account in the, the f old Fandroid app in the new account. That worked. That was quick. That was awesome. Now, read our full article on Fandroid.com because there are different scenarios you might have. So while transferring the app is an amazingly simple process, there is a lot more to it. Uh, you want to make sure you've got a contract in place, that you're not going to get ripped off, that the money is going to exchange hands evenly, and everyone gets what they wanted out of the agreement. So you are going to want to have a contract, and I'm not a, um, a lawyer, so I can't give you legal advice, but ask a lawyer you know, what type of contract you want to do um, for this type of transaction, and get a service like escrow.com that can act as the middleman. So you pay escrow.com. Um, or the buyer pays escrow.com, you transfer the goods, and then they release the funds. If there's a disagreement, at least the middleman has the money and is in a position uh, to help negotiate and uh, and moderate the the issue at hand. So that's it. There you have it. The very very quick tutorial for how to transfer your app to a different developer account in the event of being acquired, selling your app off to a different company or just switching to a different developer account of your own or somebody else's. Thanks a lot. Hope you all continue reading uh, fandroid.com, and I'll talk to you soon.